Hello, Sarah. Hi, how are you? Yes, flown in from Ireland, I take it. Flown the whole way from the Green Isle this morning, so yeah, all good, all excited to be here. Yes, are you, um, are you excited about uh, seeing a big crowd tonight? Yeah, like I'm super excited. I heard there was like four and now there's like five thousand. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, but I'm so excited. Can't wait. Yeah. Do you know, it could be a very good practice run, couldn't it? Oh, absolutely. Like we're going to London as well and Moscow for a definite. So like all these things are so good. Yeah. You know, just to meet people as well and see the other contestants. And by the time you get to Eurovision, sure, it'll be a walk, you know, yeah. so quite, yeah. So your song's called 22. Yeah. What's the story behind that number? So like... I feel like it's like, you know, a girl that was in love, you know, she had her first love and she's kind of looking back on it and he lived at number 22. So every time she sees 22 now, she kind of thinks of that nostalgic rose tinted glasses back to that like real romance. And He was probably very handsome. Yeah, I'd say he was. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just real fun, lighthearted and kind of just like, oh, well, that reminds me of him. Do you know that kind of vibe? So... so like on a practical basis how do you how do you get ready for this thing your vision like vocally just keep doing vocal warm-up sing as much as you can I mean just sing in front of people as much as you can as well because I mean you know nerves doesn't help I think mentally you just have to stay grounded and focused like no negative like I don't do negatively negative comments negative vibes I just don't they're, they're not in my head you know all I'm positive vibes only I'm like a horse of thinkers I'm like I'm so happy to be here I'm so happy yeah. to perform here Moscow London then Israel is such a privilege I'm just so excited and I think you have to remain positive and kind of just sing loads thank you really and also enjoy yourself yeah and enjoy because yourself. we're going to enjoy ourselves that's for sure good me too <laughs> so your country uh, the one you're representing has been very successful at Eurovision yeah. any favourites in the lineup from previous years like I'm really indecisive but like Linda Martin was so good so good Rhino Shaughnessy last year was unbelievable um, such a friendly guy as well like a really friendly person yeah he's a really nice really nice guy really genuine nice guy and yeah so like he was really good and then Molly Sterling was really good like I think like the songs we've sent are really strong and the people we've sent are really strong so it's kind of like weird to be comparing myself with that line of people but it's really nice good. yeah so uh, anything special planned before Tel Aviv on your front anything other than your vision not really to be honest i'm quite boring because like like i have a two-year-old so like i'm literally just going to be running around the garden trying to keep her out of the presses this that and the other just do normal mom stuff before so i'm very mommy at home like and then do you go to the gym yeah so it's gym mom bed yeah <laughs> literally up gym mom bed so it's not eat sleep rave repeat it's gym mom bed and then sing so it's been very nice to meet you, Sarah. First time we met you. All the best. And uh, yes, we'll be following you. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you too. <laughs>